Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to show you how to create a chatbot on Telegram um, with the help of Google's Dialogflow. And now if you don't know what Dialogflow is, it's basically a top-notch natural language um, processing solution or NLP. And uh, NLP is basically an artificial intelligence domain that deals with how the computer tries to um, understand, decipher, and process the natural languages of humans. So a chatbot utilizes NLP in order to interpret the written or spoken input of the user and it gives a response accordingly. In today's tutorial, um, we don't need to do any coding. That is because Google's Dialogflow actually has a console where you can create your NLP agent uh, completely uh, via a GUI. Later on, over on Telegram's site, we also do not need to do any coding because there is a bot that helps you in creating bots. <laughs> so this bot is called the Bot Father. Um, now, of course, you can integrate your own code if you so wish to um, to create a more robust and feature-filled chatbot um, but as today's tutorial is a basic introductory one um, we will not be going through that but anyways let's dive right into the tutorial and create a chatbot so right here on the screen you can see the google dialogflow's uh, main page you can read more about dialogflow here and uh, now before we get any further, it's also worth uh, mentioning about the whole Google um, ecosystem. So Dialogflow currently belongs to um, the Google Cloud uh, suite of products. Uh, generally, these products are not free, but for Dialogflow, there are two editions currently, um, the CX edition and the ES edition. Um, the CX is a more advanced version than the ES and generally is also more expensive. Um, the ES is also a paid product but there is a trial edition that we can use um, completely free of charge. So for our sake right now, um, we will be using the ES trial edition. And I also want to point out that um, whatever you're seeing on the screen right now may be subjected to change as um, Google continuously uh, upgrades itself. So if you're watching this video sometime in the future, um, what you see may or may not look exactly the same. So now we're going to the um, very important documentation page of Dialogflow. So um, this page contains everything you want to know about how to use Dialogflow. It's super comprehensive, but also super long, which means it may be confusing for a beginner on where to start, but not to worry because um, I will help you navigate the right parts you need to create a basic chatbot. Now, the first thing when we come to this page, uh, we're gonna want to directly click into here to get to the console and you want to log into your Google account first if you have not already done so. And once you're logged in, um, if you're a first timer, you should see exactly what I'm looking at right now uh, because I'm running a fresh instance. So just accept the terms of service. And after this, there's also another terms of service that um, we have to accept. So to get to there, we just click on support right here. Click on console at the top right here. And when this page opens up, there should be a pop-up here. Um, just accept the terms of service. Uh, if you want to email updates, um, that's fine. But for me, I'm not going to do it. So, and once it's done, you can actually go ahead and close this window. And we can get back to where we stopped. And next, we want to get to the guide where we can build an agent. So this is the guide right here. Build an agent. And we'll be following this guide. Uh, step by step all the way down um, the first step is to create an agent so we can go ahead and click this button right here create an agent um, then you want to get an agent name in uh, I'll name mine test um, we can leave these uh, fields here empty and then you just click on create so once your agent is created you land on this page 
and let's open the sidebar over here and we can see some terms that may be unfamiliar to us so like intense entities fulfillment uh, integrations and to find out what uh, all these terms mean we can go back to our guide and we want to look under basics I would recommend spending some time reading through this entire page so it will tell you everything you need to know about um, the terms which you see on the site over here uh, we can continue on to our tutorial in build an agent and we can move on to the next step which is to import the example file in your agent so what you want to do is just uh, click here to download the file once it's downloaded we can go back to our console uh, click on the settings options right here um, go into export and import and you want to restore from zip so i'm going to find a file which i just downloaded and drag it in and they want us to type restore click on the restore button and there we have it so done okay so next up will be the intents so as uh, written in the guide there will be two default intents already available for you so um, this will be under intents um, so the welcome intent is for when the user wants to say hi or how are you to the chatbot and the chatbot will give you a default um, response to that so in this case um, the chatbot will tell you hi how are you doing or hello how can i help you and the fallback intent is for when the user types in some gibberish or something that the chatbot does not recognize so um, this would be the fallback response um, I didn't get that can you say it can you say it again or uh, any of these options here so there are 12 uh, responses possible and these 12 would be um, randomly chosen as one of the response so um, the guy actually wants us to test it out right now so we can go to the site here in this um, on the right side to test out the chatbot so for example if I say hi and my default welcome intent will tell me good day what can i do for you today and let's type let's try to type in a gibberish response so in fact if i just yeah let me just spell out gibberish so the chatbot will ask me say that one more time <laughs> next we want to create our own intent so to do that we can open the sidebar again we can click on the plus sign right here and then we want to give our intent a name so according to the guy our intent name will be get agent name um, we then want to include some training phrases so we can just type in what is your name do you have a name and tell me your name so uh, of course after this we are expecting a response from the chatbot so this can be filled up under this section so the responses we want would be my name is Dialog flow um when we're done with all, all of this uh, we just click on save right up here once it says uh, intent saved we can go ahead and test it out and at the site right here so what is your name and we can see it's working perfectly fine next up would be parameters and entities so to get started on that um, oh that's fine i've already saved uh, we want to create a new intent first so um the name of the intent would be set language um, our training phrases would be I know English I speak French I know how to write in German good for you and you'll see that there will be some highlighted words right here so German and English are highlighted so the system has automatically um, recognized these as entities so in this case it's the language entity so um, the parameter for a language entity would be English and in this other case the parameter would be German so a parameter is a word 
which uh, fulfills the uh, requirements of an entity. And you also notice that French is not highlighted. Um, that's because I guess the system is not perfect. So normally it should automatically recognize all of the system defined entities. But if it does not, that's okay, that's fine. We can manually set it on our own as well. So just highlight the word, the parameter that you want to define an entity to. Um, and we can assign this language as it should be. And there we go. And following that, we can also use the parameter inside our response. So to do that, I'm going to include this response. Wow, I didn't know you knew language. So to call upon a parameter, we simply need to use the dollar sign. And once that's done, um, always remember to save. I want to test it out right now. So I'm going to type I no, I'm going to try Japanese, which is true. I do know Japanese. Wow, I didn't know you knew Japanese. So yeah, the chat boy is able to recognize that I am actually re um, referring to an entity and is able to um, reference this parameter that I've uh, typed into the chatbot. So as mentioned, there are system defined entities, but you can also create your own custom entities. To do that, we'll go into entities and just click on the plus sign. Oh, that's fine. I've already saved. Uh, we want to fill in the entity name. Uh, in this case, it will be called language programming. Um, and then you want to type in the reference value. So in this case would be JavaScript. The synonym for it would be JavaScript. JS. So synonyms are basically whatever you type here in the chatbot will be recognized as the JavaScript um, parameter. So if I type JS in the chatbot, the chatbot should recognize this as JavaScript. We can fill up the rest as well. And I filled up the rest, so I'm just going to save it right now. So let's test out our new entity. So we can go back to our intents. Um, let's go to set language again. And we can add in the training phrase, I know JavaScript. I know how to code in Java. And well, sometimes the system would automatic automatically recognize the new entity, but if it doesn't, that's fine. So again, we just highlight um, we want to assign this the language programming entity and for JavaScript we want it to be language programming. So Java and JavaScript are the language programming entity and their um, parameter value is language programming. So in our responses we can also write we will reference the language programming parameter in Language is an excellent programming language. Once it's saved, so um, we can test it out again. So let's say I know how to code in Python. And our response is Python is an excellent programming language. So there we have it. Next, we're going to talk about context. So context is basically how the chatbot tries to emulate a natural conversation flow. So normally when you have one question, you're going to want to follow it up with another question. So that's where context comes into play. So let's create the follow up question. So under this response, we're going to add in how long have you known um, language? And then we are going to save and we are going to go back to intents right here. So this is the parent intent. We want to create a follow up intent for it. So just hover over it and click on here and click on custom. So the follow up intent is how the user will respond to the follow up questions. So let's go into the follow up intent and we'll type in some training phrases. So these training phrases are possible user inputs to the follow-up questions. So if we go back to our parent intent, 
you notice that the output is the follow-up intent and the number here is the lifespan so two meaning it will go on for two more prompts so you can you can always change this number to ask for three prompts but for now we'll just leave it as two now let us go back to our follow-up intent and we want to fill in a response for that so what's happening here is that we use the hash sign to actually reference our parent content sorry our parent intent so the parent intent is set language follow-up and the dot here is to call any parameter that belongs to the parent intent so if you remember we had the language parameter back um, in the parent intent so I'm calling language and I'm also calling the duration parameter from this uh, current child intent and then don't forget to save uh, I've already done that so let's test it out so I'm going to type I know Japanese so the chatbot will ask me wow I didn't know you know you knew Japanese how long have you known Japanese so I'm going to type five years I can't believe you've known Japanese for five years. So yeah, our chatbot works uh, exactly as it's intended. Okay, so right now we want to link our dialogue flow with uh, Telegram. And this can be done with a guide provided by Google as well. So we're going to click into here and call upon the bot father. Yeah, I have Telegram out here right now. So I'm going to press start. Uh, we want to create a new bot so um you're gonna click here new bot so what are we gonna call it so i'll just call it marcus projects and then we want a username for the bot um the username has to end with the term bot as well so i'm gonna call my the marcus projects bot and then we'll have our access token so we're going to go ahead and copy this we're going to go into our console and we're going to go into integrations uh, yes that's fine i've saved so scroll down and look for telegram we're going to type uh we're going to paste the access code in here once this is done um telegram should be linked with our dialogue flow and we can go back to our telegram and we can search up the name of our bot which we just created so this is it i'm going to press start and it should behave exactly as um, what we did in Dialogflow. So let's say for example, I know Japanese. It will ask me, wow, I didn't know you knew Japanese. How long have you known Japanese? So let's try, let's try 55 years. <laughs> I can't believe you've known Japanese for 55 years. Yeah, neither, neither can I. But there you have it so uh, we have successfully created a telegram chatbot using google's dialogue flow uh, i hope you've enjoyed this video uh, and that you have learned something new today uh, thank you for tuning in stay tuned for more content in the future and i'll see you in the next one